Make sure you have your photo ID and proof vaccination on hand, please. Make sure you have your photo ID and proof vaccination on hand, please. Make sure that's gone. Photo ID and proof vaccination, please. Make sure you have your photo ID and proof vaccination on hand, please. Hey, how you doing everyone? We are here with uh, the anti-vaxxing mandate protesters at the Met. So, uh, why are we here today, guys? Well, my name is Dabby, this is Paul, this is Chloe, and we're here to show people, people, we're fine people who care about art, who care about culture, who care about our city, who care about people at the end of the day, to know that we are here for freedom. This is all pro-freedom. We're not anti-vax, we're pro-freedom, and that's what's important. That's why there's no bullhorns here, we're being very polite and we're just being civil disobedient and letting people know that it's pro-freedom. That's one of the reasons why I have this ginormous American flag. It's actually a military flag to let people understand and see it from as far as they can past 82nd and 5th as much as we can possibly do. So that's why Paul and Chloe are here and we're all about pro-freedom. I love it. So what do you guys what do you guys think the resolution should be? Should it be like testing or like no testing and uh... Well, if someone wants tr testing, let them get a testing. But here's the thing about the testing. When you take that testing, a PCR test, they actually stick in your nose and they break that little, that little uh, lining, the blood-borne barrier, and that actually it gives you an ability to get the actual virus when you'll actually have something called ADE, which is the reason why in the future a lot of people will be more sick. So it may not happen in the, in the, in the, in the beginning, but people will get sick slowly over time and realize these things. So I'm not against anyone doing things that they think for their self and healthy, for their family. They should do that. This is America. They should have the responsibility to do that. But I'm against someone else telling me what I had to do with my own body. That's the biggest issue. And I can tell you, by this sign, you can 100% understand that people care about what's happening to the body and the things that they put in their body. It's really important that people understand that it's our body, it's our choice, and it's your body, and it's your choice. But Thank you, I'll, let, I'll let Chloe speak, and I'll let Paul speak, because I think it's awesome that you have a, a good understanding to, to come here and, and make record of what's going on here today. Thank you. So your, uh, your sign says vegan and unvaxxed. So uh, what's behind that? What made you? Well, you see, uh, even before the protest, I didn't know a lot of people who were vegan but agreed with me politically on anything and I didn't know a lot of people who agreed with me politically on anything that were vegan. And I knew, I had a hunch that there were more people like me because it kind of makes sense. If you have the critical thinking to distrust the narrative that comes with our food and uh, the idea that you can heal your body with food rather than pharmaceuticals, for, for instance, um, then why wouldn't you have the critical thinking to be able to question Big Pharma, to be able to question the government, be able to question all these things? So to me, the idea of being uh, pro-medical freedom and vegan go together like like bread and butter, right? But like, it, it's funny because I hadn't seen anybody say it, so I decided to say it. And just like that, every time I've gone to a rally, there's just like countless people coming up to me saying, me too, me too, I'm also vegan and unvaxxed. And I, they're always like, I didn't want to say it because I didn't know if somebody would think I was weird or whatever. And so I've kind of made people realize, I feel like, that they're not alone um, and that they have a voice and that um, there's so many people like us. And it's just really, I think it's an important connection because, for instance, Eric Adams is vegan. And um, he's actually, he saved his life by becoming vegan because he had diabetes. He was losing his vision in one eye. He had he almost had to have uh, limbs amputated. He had nerve damage. And after just a few weeks of becoming vegan, doing his own research and talking to uh, like natural doctors, he all of that stuff went away. And now he's healthy and he's lost a lot of weight. This guy right here lost a lot of weight by changing his lifestyle as well. But this guy's for medical freedom. Eric Adams, he's in negotiations with us, but. We don't know for sure what he's going to do and you know when he was in the debates he was kind of acting like he wasn't going to be with us. So I feel like it's important for people to realize that you can be vegan and you can be on our side um, because it's kind of key in a way 
because like vegan is kind of associated with the left and it's not like this is a left-right issue this is a human rights issue but the right does tend to push this issue a lot so I think if people realize that being vegans okay at the same time then it makes a big difference if that makes Absolutely. sense Absolutely. Yeah. 100% correct. Thank you so much. And and also, just to, to reiterate, my name is Dabby Carreras, and I was the New York City candidate for, for Comptroller. In fact, we do believe that we won this election because of what happened in Virginia, what happened in Jersey, what happened in, in Long Island. But yet, the election results, or at least the unofficial results, show almost an exact opposite happening here in New York. We don't believe it. And the only thing we can do is just protest it and just keep on checking and go for the next election if in case we did in fact lose, which I don't believe that we did. So thank you. And this is also Paul. Paul, if you wanted to say a couple words, he's with us it's just as much. Um, I believe everyone should have the individual liberty to choose to take the facts or not. Um, not anti-vax, I'm just anti-mandate. And I just want to go see a Caravaggio paint painting yeah as an artist it's a shame that i can't even go see art anymore at all that's a shame i'm an artist too i get it yeah it sucks we love yeah. culture i mean you know where i'm from in east harlem it's all about culture music art and sadly these mask mandates these other mandates all these different things are pushing culture and it's just pushing everyone to be in one kind of mindset which is a mindset that that a larger power, a larger government force tells you what to think. Now they're making science a religion. This entire thing is, is wrong because sadly these masks were really just a, a, a placeholder for the jab and the jab is a placeholder for digital ideas we're seeing around the entire world. This is not the case and we can have to stop it. We're not gonna live in welfare. We need to fix this city, we need to fix this country, we need to change the message and we need to be civil disobedient and let people know what the truth is because so much of our truth is being hidden by the media. I can go into detail about it. Actually, I will, I'll really, really briefly. So the way this really orchestrated started was in President Barack Obama when he brought in the Smith's Month Modernization Act of 2012, which really was a prelude to the NDAA 2013 that established a situation where Propaganda, which is one side information, whether it be 100% true or 100% false, it's just one side information, both of which are propaganda. Compound that with 47 U.S. Code 230, which is, which is actually being disputed in courts right now, which makes it so that you can boost this kind of speech, amplify the speech through algorithms, and also silence other speech. So what's going on is they're silencing the truth, and they're boosting things that are opinion journalism, otherwise known as false or lies. So this is what has happened, and we need to remove the entire thing of code 47 U.S. code, section 230. This is what's causing so much pain, so much anguish around the United States, and sadly, the rest of the world, because they don't have the exact same kind of constitution that we have, and the same kind of setup as we have. So, God bless, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. And there's another side to my side if you want to see it. There you go. Yeah.